Oh no, no, not too far that way. No, no. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm dying. Quick. Oh, we got it, we got it. Oh, that was lucky. No, not too far. <laughs> not too far. Easy. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 22 of my Stormworks career mode Let's Play. Now today, we are going to fill up the boat, the new boat, with ice, guys. We've got to collect ice samples from about 15 kilometers offshore and bring them back uh, to get tested and things like that, I think. So that's what we're going to do today. I have modified the new boat even further and I'm going to show you that first. And then we'll get out on the water and hopefully have another successful mission. Okay, check this out guys. I have built a crane on the back of this boat. I've left the winch um, and I've taken off the control console here and I still have the other version of the boat which we can use for different sorts of missions but this one is built specifically for this mission. So the idea is that we've got to pick up some icebergs, quite small ones, they vary in size and we have to lift them onto the boat here and so I've built this cargo storage sort of area um, with a lot of mags in there just to grip things down because if it gets choppy guys uh, the ice might fall out of the boat so we do have to secure it down I'm not sure if they'd be called icebergs if they're quite small would they I really don't know but uh, anyway it is ice basically um, and yeah I'll show you how that works when we get over there but I don't think there are any more changes I have added some cleats here um, and I think I did add another change inside what I can do is show you my microcontroller for the fluid jet quickly because I didn't show it off last time, so I will do that right now for you guys. Okay, and here it is. This is the uh, the microcontroller for my fluid jet down here. So if I click on that, there we go. Okay, so I sort of made this on my own, and you can do a better job. This is by no means the best version uh, that you can do, but it works. And so we have, uh, you know, the steering up here. And I've got that multiplied by 0 0.5 to make it less sensitive, basically. That's what I was talking about where we were capsizing while turning. So that's going to reduce the sensitivity of the steering and, and make it a bit more stable for us. Then it goes into the deflectors here. And then down here, I've got uh, the reverse button. So I press the button and it just sends a signal to put both deflectors in and therefore we can reverse. So that's that, guys. Fairly simple, but it took me a while to figure out, actually. But hopefully that explains that. Um, I don't think I have... I have added something. I think I added fuel pumps, guys, actually, because I forgot to add a fuel connector last time. So I've done this, and I've got one for in and one for out. And then I've got, uh, you know, a release button and a pump button there. One on either side. I mean, it'd be a bit easier if I had them close together, but, you know, it's a very simple system, and it works, and I'm pretty happy with that to be honest I could even use one connector if I want to but you know that's what I've done for now okay then there is a counterweight on the crane we have one mag with a medium winch um, and we have a pivot system for uh, tilting or pitching the crane and then we have a swivel as well which is attached to the the seat here so you'll see how that works when we get over there but uh, basically, uh, I am going to be moving with the crane as it turns. That's the idea. Right, guys, let's get into the water and do this mission. OK, so the mission is called Retrieve Ice Samples. OK, scientists working for an Arctic survey team have taken samples of ice from a large iceberg that they believe has prehistoric significance. The samples cannot be picked up by hand and they lack the necessary equipment to move them. They have personally requested your assistance in building a vehicle capable of transferring the samples back to their base. Now guys, there are five samples, as you can see here. We have just under five hours to do it. And I'm hoping to do this in one trip, all right? So, you know, there's probably going to be a lot of extra time here. It's not that far away. Let's just have a look. But I think it's about 15 kilometers, isn't it? Uh, that's the destination. Here we go. Okay, 17 kilometers to the samples. Uh, and then 6.6 .6 to the actual base from here. So I guess that's 17 that way and then, you know, sort of 21 kilometers, 22 kilometers that way. Uh, 23 maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm dying. Quick, get the boat in. Get the boat in, guys. <laughs> we need to get our Arctic gear on. <laughs> this is not good. I need to run into the boat as quickly as I can. Okay, we'll be fine. But it's not a good start, is it? Where's the Arctic gear? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's put the heater on as well, shall we? Ah, oh, 
Ah, oh, at last. <laughs> oh, well, there you go, guys. You can see the boat now in the water. Uh, that was a quick introduction. It is dawn right now, so let's get started. Let's get straight over there. Don't want to waste any time here. Oh, I need to fuel it up, don't I, guys? Okay, I'll be back with you in a second when it's fueled up. Okay, so the way this works is you put the connector up to here, of course, and then just press pump in. And if we have a look in the cockpit here, we should see... Yep, fuel is going in. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is that I did actually increase the volume or the capacity of my fuel tank only by um, changing some of my blocks into wedges, okay? So the actual size of the tank is exactly the same, but now it has more volume inside. And so we should get, you know, 4,300 litres, I think, an extra 300 litres, which is pretty good, I think. Um, so, you know, it's, it's worthwhile doing that. But it's filling up fairly quickly, as you can see. There we go, 4,281 litres. So let's now press the release button. And I'll just chuck this in the water for now, I think, just to save time. And we'll, we'll recover it later. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, I can turn that button off. We'll just quickly test things, guys, to make sure before we leave, let's make sure it works. Right, so we've got down, we've got up, we have one for the mag, and we've got four for the cargo mags there. And I think that's it, actually. Uh, let's try the swivel. Swivel works. And also, the, it's going to pitch there as well. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, no, no, not too far that way. No, no. <laughs> okay. Just got to be careful with that. Yeah, it, it, it's not exactly the best positioning for it, but it's, it's fine if you're careful. That's all we need to worry about. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing started. Battery is 100% pretty much. Bit of throttle. And there we go, the RPS is increasing. That will reach the limiter in a minute. And now we're going to just apply the clutch. Okay, okay, easy, easy. See what I mean, guys? If you remember from the previous episode, I was explaining about how powerful it is to begin with. So, yes, I could uh, do a better job of the gears. <laughs> but there we go, look at that. Lovely. Lovely. I'd like to add a few more details to the boat, maybe some more paint, some design on the hull, stuff like that. But, you know, it, it's a good start for sure. And clutches all the way in. We are doing 15 knots at the moment, and fuel consumption is quite quick, but that's because we need the second gear now. So I'll just increase the power a bit. Second gear. Make sure it doesn't stall. All right, and look at that. The fuel is now going down a lot slower, and we're going quite a lot faster as well. 20, 21 knots now, and the fuel is going down way slower. That is fantastic. Okay, so we've got no worry about uh, time limits here. We still have 4 hours and 43 minutes. I'm expecting it to take an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops, that kind of thing. Um... So, you know, unless we run into massive waves. Now, if that is the case, guys, it might take a bit longer, of course. We have to just think about those things. But we are fully prepared. Now, I am going to turn off my heater. I just see if we still freeze, actually. But, uh, hang on a minute. Why is my generator not running? Have I got a clutch for that? Vertical trim. I'm not sure, guys. I do have a generator, don't I? I think I, <laughs> I, think I do. Yes, I do. There it is. Maybe for some reason I've unplugged it, but it should be working fine. Let's check the battery. Yeah, look, there it is. So the generator is definitely working because battery is now 100%. Um, but, yes, I must have just unplugged it. There we go. Okay, let's put some lights on, shall we? We want to have pilot house lights, instrument lights, nav lights as well. There we are. Have a look at that. I quite like the exhaust pipes there, pointing up, twin twin exhaust pipes. And they don't get in the way, that's one really good thing guys. Don't forget in your vehicles, it can be annoying if your exhaust uh, fumes and smoke is kind of going, you know, into your vision. It can be very, very irritating. But here is the fluid jet and you can see down here, there's a nice stream of water coming out the back. Um, it's pretty cool. I really, really enjoy it. And if we turn, because I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but some of you may not have, 
if you turn, you'll see the deflectors moving. If you can see that, just make sure I'm not crashing into anything here. See those deflectors turn up. Oh, see the left one's going in there. Oh, okay, easy. <laughs> easy. You know what? I think this boat would turn better with actual rudders. Um, but I, I just wanted to try only using the deflectors for now because it's pretty cool. It's different and it's a bit of fun. But yeah, and if we reverse both of those things, we're going to the center, we might be able to use that later. So let's quickly test the top speed. I'm not going to go full power all the way because we do want to save fuel. But let's have a go and see how fast we get. That is knots right there. Oh yeah, okay, I set it to a maximum of 85. That should mean that the... Oh, that's interesting. That's different to how I remember it, actually. Okay, so we're doing 9.5 RPS at 85% throttle, 26 knots. A solid 26 there. Temperatures are 51. Uh, slowly rising, but that's nothing to be concerned about. Okay. We have deck lights as well, of course. Lovely. Really enjoying this boat so far. It's actually the first crane that I've built on the boat, which I'm going to use like properly in a mission. I have built cranes before. Um, I may have used one or two actually, but uh, this is the first kind of proper one that I'm expecting to actually work. So I'm really excited to try this. And also this winch back here, right? I have changed where the uh, the controls for it are because I still wanted to keep it just in case we need to tow something. So I, I've put uh, the control console winch controls down here in case. But we may not need to use that today. It's all about that crane, I think. Fantastic. Now, how's the fuel doing? Look at that, guys. That's pretty good, isn't it? Considering the speed, that's not bad at all. We'll get there in no time. 13.8 kilometers. We might see a whale if we're really lucky, or some penguins or something. But uh, this is super cool. I love it. Love it. Okay, just navigating around this iceberg. Would you call that an iceberg if it's that big? Maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> we've gone safely around that. It's really not very far to go, is it, guys? I'm wondering why the uh, the mission has such a massive time limit on it. Maybe there's a big reward, which would be nice. We'll find out later. But I'm just thinking maybe they expect you to do several trips. However, I have done this mission once before... And we did it in one go. I remember that. Um, using a smaller boat than this, actually. So, <laughs> you know, I think we're going to be fine in terms of uh, storage capacity or cargo space. just pointing west here we're just going around this small cluster or big cluster of icebergs here that one is huge isn't it so if I show you the map you can see that this is where we're going up here but uh, we're just going around this one this cluster uh, just over there and then we'll carry on hopefully in a straight line guys Luckily, even though I've turned the heater off, uh, we're not cold because I do have the Arctic uh, thermal clothing on. So at the moment, we don't have to use any power up with the heater there. And uh, it, it's about mid-morning now. It's not even midday yet. So we've got plenty of time to do this in the sunshine. Um, we may have to actually deliver the ice samples in the dark by the time we get back. But at least we can do the majority of the mission in the daytime. Now I'm going to head straight for that waypoint. However, we're going to have to go around another massive iceberg over there. If that is one iceberg, that is incredible. But let's just have a look here. Where are we? Right. Uh, we can go. We can go through the middle. We have to be careful. There might be some small ones in here that we can't see. If I just put a waypoint there, and we can try and judge it, that should be fine. I think. Let's go left. 
And thank goodness it's very, very calm at the moment. I really hope it doesn't pick up too much. But now we are a fair distance from the mainland. Things could get very dicey <laughs> if the weather changes. Um, so let's really hope it stays this way. Um, at least while we're operating the crane, right? That's really, I think, the challenge is operating a crane in the waves. That could be a big problem. We are now 8.3 kilometers away. Not far to go. Not far at all. Uh, we're literally about halfway, approximately. Uh, and we're just about to go through this bit of icebergs here. And then again, we'll head pretty much north. Right from here, it is pretty much north, actually, isn't it? Almost exactly. That's good. Now, it seems I've spent about five or $6,000 spawning in this new boat, but that's okay. It wasn't too expensive. And I'm not sure why that was. Maybe I hadn't owned the pivot I've used for the crane and a few things like that, you know. I'm not sure exactly what that money went on, but it's not crazy. And with any luck, we'll learn quite a bit from this mission as it does have a five hour limit. <laughs> Surely that offers a better reward, but I've got no idea. I, as I say, I've done the mission before, but I can't remember what kind of reward we got for it. I really can't remember at all. I've never earned more than, you know, 16 odd thousand dollars for a mission as far as I can remember. So it's not going to be staggering, <laughs> but it might be good. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'd love to go down there in the boat. Look at that, those uh, very narrow corridors through the icebergs. That would be fun. I don't know if the boat is a bit too big for that, maybe. No penguins, unfortunately. Can't see any signs of life out here at all. No whales. It's still snowing, and our destination is 6.1 kilometres away. We've done about two-thirds of the trip over there. And probably... Our ice samples are going to be just over there in amongst those icebergs. See those pop in, guys? They literally popped in on screen there. That's why you have to be careful, especially... I mean, I'm not going super fast, but if you are going, you know, 50 knots, 100 knots, you've got to be so careful that you don't just suddenly smash into something here. So I do recommend, you know, focusing, <laughs> or at least not going too fast in these areas. They, that one just popped in, I think. There we go, another one just popped in there, look. They're fairly close by. Only maybe one to two hundred metres away. Okay, guys, we are now actually approaching these ice samples over here. We've used about 1,000 litres of diesel, um, which is really good, I think, out of 4,000. So a quarter of the tank getting over here. That means, you know, pretty much we're definitely okay on fuel. I just don't know if the samples are this side of that iceberg or the other side or maybe somewhere in between. Um, so we'll find out soon enough. But one kilometre to go now. We're so close. And I'm just watching those waves, but it looks to be calm enough at the moment. I think, you know, operating the crane should be all right unless it suddenly changes for the worse, which it can do at any moment here. So I'm really hoping it stays calm. Um, at least until we have the icebergs or the ice samples on board. Right, here's the map. So, okay, we have to go around, let's go around this side, but then in amongst these three icebergs, and they'll all be in there. That's nice. Okay, good, good. I'm also going to slow down, actually. We don't want to go 26 knots into an iceberg. <laughs> that would be a really bad day, that would. Okay, nice and easy. And we're probably going in this gap here. So let's take it nice and wide as well. Try and get to about 15 knots for a second. Then go down to about 10 and then 5. And then come to a, a nice easy stop in the center. Okay, what's that? Is that a boat there? Ah, there might be a boat here as well. Maybe there's some other people trying to do the job. And they failed, I can't remember now. <laughs> Can't remember, but uh, there might be some extra things to have a look at in here. Oh, wow, that's narrow. Okay, that's really narrow, guys. Right. Super careful here. I, I need to slow right down. Look, oh, look at, they're quite small, these ice samples, actually. Have I stalled? No, we're okay. We're okay. Okay, slow. Slow. Easy. Okay, let's just cut the engine here. Fantastic. Great, let's go and have a look then, guys. 
Okay, so let's move the crane out. I'll do it in third person, then you guys can see exactly what's going on here. Lovely, lovely. Okay, let's lower it down. Not into the water, just above, I think. Just a few inches above would be perfect. A bit like that, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Turn on the mag. Now I'm going to go and grab one by hand. And just... Oh, I don't think you can grab them, actually, but you can just nudge them in the right direction like that, yeah? That seems to be okay. Yes, okay, it's on. <laughs> it's working. Right, now I'm just a bit worried about the weight of these things as well. That is another concern we've got. But, uh, right, there are things I can do to help the situation. Let's try and go up. Okay, okay just be careful. Watch the weight, watch the... We are going to tip a bit. Oh, good, okay. Uh, oh, okay, we are tipping, but it's not too bad is it it's not too bad oh fantastic not all of them are this big by the way so right just try and get it towards the back if i can stop the crane here and oh not that one there we go we've dropped it oh nice now i'm just going to nudge it over here i think right to the end and then let's get the next one uh they're all on the left hand side it seems so, should I get the the two big ones first, maybe? They're the tricky ones, aren't they? It is a bit more choppy now, guys, as you can see, but it's not too bad. And if I angle the crane a bit, it's going to be a bit less tippy, <laughs> basically. So, lowering it down right now. And we'll leave it just about there, I think. Just dipping into the water, actually. Hmm. If I turn the mag on, it's probably going to attach to the side of the boat. That's the problem. So, let's do this. Let's leave it off for now, and then turn it on just at the right minute. Another iceberg there that's in the way. I just want to do the big ones first, because the other ones can be way easier. than get these done. And I'll kind of try and balance out the weight by putting this on the other side of the boat. Right, that is now probably in contact with our mag. Oh, I moved it again. Damn it. <laughs> right, time to put the mag on. Where is it? Oh, damn it. There we go. I've attached it. <laughs> okay, release that. Let's take the crane this way and turn the mag on. Come on, attach. Oh, it's so close. Yes, we've done it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to move the crane back this way again. So it's a, the weight is a bit more closer to the centre. There we go. So careful. Guys, when I was testing this boat, I actually flipped it by attaching my fuel connector to a fuel hose. That's how dodgy the physics can be sometimes. So you just have to be super careful. But we can use these two to spread the weight a bit. Then the small ones can be easy, right? Let's drag it in straight away. Drop it down there. Perfect. Right, we'll just arrange that. Oh, look at that, guys. Couldn't get much better than that, right? Let's hope it connects to the mags on the deck. But now we've got small ones. So that's the hard bit done. And they shouldn't be too tricky. In fact, I might as well just grab all of them. And take them all back. We can also save that person, maybe. Have a look here. Yeah, there's there's no mission apparently to save that person, but we could do anyway. Right, I believe there. Yeah, there must be one more somewhere. Where is that one? There it is. It's easier to fish for ice samples if you've got more than one in the same location, right? More chance of getting one. Lovely job. Very good. Hey, why is the crane all the way over there? That's <laughs> smiles away. Okay, I can lower it down while turning. Actually, there we go. Okay, come on, it's going to hit now. That's too high. Okay, let's bring that up a bit. 
Got it. Got it. Nice. Hey, don't tip now. <laughs> After all this work. Doesn't really matter where we put these ones because they're so light and small. And back again. It's connected. Keep bringing it up. Lovely. Actually, oh, no. I'll try and tip the crane back a bit to vertical position. Nope, not too far. <laughs> not too far. Easy. Okay. One issue is that, yeah. And also, you can't climb up the ladder if the crane is centred. That's another problem we have here. But, you know, it's not too bad. <laughs> I can live with that for now. And we'll just get the last one, guys. See that? We, we can get them all on one trip. So I'm not sure. Are we cold? No, we're fine. But I'm not sure why we have like a five hour um, time limit for this one. But uh, anyway, I suppose if you did go in a small boat, then of course you would need the five hours. But this is not huge. Oh, good, good. We're connected. And this is a bit bigger. This is sort of a medium size, isn't it? This iceberg here, but way smaller than the biggest ones. Here it comes. Bring the crane over this way a tad. There we go. Nice, nice. Drop that there, first of all. Okay, careful. I need to rearrange the icebergs a bit. And then, you know, just make sure that we put the mags on and attach them properly. So... If I move these over in this direction, go. This one is not on any mags, probably. So let's get that over this way. Nice. Okay, so ice is on. Now let's turn on our mags in the cargo area with number four. Okay guys, the ice is all on now. We are ready to go back. I was considering stealing this boat over here, but you know what? I don't think there's a connector on it, unfortunately. And so we can't use our winch. And we could use the crane. However, it's quite high up. And therefore, I think we'd tip over if we uh, if we towed that. So I'm going to decide not to nick that boat this time, unfortunately. But never mind, guys. We're going to do this mission and we're going to get back safely uh, and earn some money. Let's get on with it. So we'll go into the cabin here. Easy. Easy. Okay. That's a really narrow gap there, but we will make it through. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Fantastic. Look at that, guys. We're clear. Just get through there. Then we're going to head. We're going to turn around, basically, because we're going the wrong direction right now. That's it. Oh, no. Okay, go right a bit. Right a bit. <laughs> bit of throttle. And then gear two. Increase our throttle just to make sure it doesn't stall. And we are good to go. Guys, that is a successful mission, I think. I mean, we haven't finished it yet, but I reckon that's a good one right there. Five samples of ice secured. Actually, are they secure? Hang on a minute. Uh, <laughs> I think they are. I mean, I did before, but some of those mags don't seem to be on. Which is slightly concerning. But they're, they're not moving around, are they? I think we'll be okay. Right, let's go full power then. There we go. Up to 26 knots. And we don't need anything else here at the moment. Very good. Let's close that door. <laughs> it's letting the heat out. 21.4 kilometers, guys. Because we're going a bit further... Uh, this time, but not much further. But now, guys, I'll probably skip ahead unless anything else interesting happens, and I'll see you when we are just about to arrive and hand in our ice samples. Okay, guys, here is the base we're going to. I think it is a research base, isn't it? 
and we can just about see it there on the iceberg. So we only have to go under one kilometer, but where do we actually drop off the ice? Is it round the corner? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, okay, so it seems to be on the corner here. Maybe there's a bit of a lower part we can climb onto. We are almost there, just as the sun is... Well, the sun has gone down, actually. There's the moon. But uh, it's, it's light enough. <laughs> we can see what we're doing. 500 meters to go. And there is the base just up there. But we're going to go around the corner. And actually, we're incredibly close now. Let's slow right down. Somebody there, look, waiting for us. Oh, they're waving. That's cool. Hang on a minute, do they need help, or are they just waving us in? <laughs> oh, we've done it! 8,600! Okay, let's crane off the ice then, into the water. I guess these people are going to pick it up later. So, uh... <laughs> okay, the mags? That's weird, the mags were not on. That is very strange, but they were... Can you hear that echo, guys? That's <laughs> amazing. Right, let's take this thing down. And pull it up, that's good, and we'll just drop it into the water over the side here. And it should be able to do it quite quickly, actually. Okay, that's two out of five. It's much easier to get them off than on, <laughs> that's for sure. And that one's done. Now the last two seem to be stuck inside these mags. Is that going to be possible or not? Is it going to be possible to get these off? Let's hope so. I think we're attached to the boat itself, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to turn on the mag at the right time as it swings over it, I think. Oh. Oh, we got it, we got it. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, one to go. Right, I think I've got it. No, I don't have it. I'm just going to move the ice around a bit. There we go. That's right under the, the mag now. And that should be fine. And we have it, guys. The last one. Oh, yes. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, guys. That is all we've got time for in this episode. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, as always. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon. All right, bye, guys.